Get Happy Outdoors. Get, get, get happy. Happy, get happy. Now let's get happy. Happy, happy. Get happy outdoors. Happy. Now let's get happy. Happy, happy. Outdoors. Outdoors. Happy outdoors. <laughs> Whoa. That's a tiger trap. Get happy outdoors. Oh. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's Happy with Get Happy Outdoors. How you guys doing? Uh, snow's finally uh, landing and sticking on the ground out there. You know what that means for us fly tires. It's time to start time flies. Thus, my fly tying kit right here. So, I've got a lot of people asking if I can help them learn how to tie flies. It doesn't matter where you are in, in your fly tying uh, experience, whether you've been fly tying all your life or if you just want to start. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tie the same flies that I use when I'm catching those big trout in my videos. So <clears throat> we're going to start off with what I consider to be the easiest fly that I've ever tied, and it's about the most productive. It's literally in the top three of most productive fly patterns that I use uh, on still water specifically, but also in running water as well. Um, but we're doing this for still water fisheries. So let's get to it guys, and we'll get happy. <laughs> So this is Happy's Bunny Leech. So you can see we've got four different size leech patterns here. Three of them, the top three, are all tied on the same size hook, a size 16. And the fourth one on the bottom is tied on a size 14 hook. Uh, I'll go up to a size 12. So it doesn't really matter, this just shows you you know, how big a fly you can tie, what the variations can be on a single hook, a same size and everything like that. So, um, this is, I would say, honestly, probably in my top three flies for the most productive patterns that I have in my box. And this is a pattern that you see me catch a lot of those fish on that I'm showing you in the videos. We're going to go over this one and we're going to show you how to tie it because this is the easiest fly I've ever tied. <laughs> I can't believe it's so productive and it's so easy to tie. So anybody can tie this fly. Let's get started. So let's see the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need rabbit zonker fur. Just a little strip on leather. Not a whole lot of question to that. You're going to need 0 0.020 lead wire and some brown thread. What kind of brown thread do I use? Oh, it doesn't really matter. I like to go with a 6 out or better usually. Uh, this just happens to match it perfectly, so this is an ultra thread. I'm not real fond of this kind of thread, but it does, it does work really well for putting dubbing on. Um, it makes that a lot easier, so if you guys need to know that, there you go. But, like I said, just any brown thread, uh, and I usually choose a 6 aught thread, or thicker sometimes. So yeah, there you go. That's all you need to tie this fly. Let's get to it, guys. Alright guys, here it goes. A little fly tying 101. This is a size 16 Mustad hook. And we're going to be tying Happy's Bunny Leech.
So, we're going to start off by just going ahead and wrapping some of that brown thread around the hook. Usually start up right about here. I go until I can hang the thread straight across the barb of the hook. That's usually where I end it. Now we take some lead. Just pop it off there. And we're going to do about six or seven wraps. Starting from the middle, going towards the head. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Snap it off. Obviously, we have room to put more lead on there, but we don't want to because the amount of lead that we're putting on this fly is to match the neutral buoyancy of the leeches. Not necessarily neutral. If they do stop swimming, they do start sinking at a kind of a slow rate, but not super fast. So if you were to make this with like a, a bead head or something like that, when whenever you do your pauses while you're working the fly, it wouldn't sink naturally. Uh, it wouldn't look as natural as it would this way. So that's why I tie it this particular way. I've tried a lot of different ways to tie this fly, and I've gotten the absolute best results on this one. So we just cover up the lid there, tapered the body up a bunch, as you can see. Pretty awesome, right? All right, so with the bunny fur, we're not gonna use a whole ton of it. Just a pinch. Depending on how thick your fur is, the pinch would be about a third the length of the hook shank. Pretty common rule there. And as far as the length of this, make it just a little bit longer than the hook shank itself. You don't want to go much longer than that, otherwise the tail will wrap around the hook when you're casting. Tighten that down real good. You see we got a real nice tail going there. Now I take this extra clipping of bunny fur and I use it for the dubbing. That's why this is a basically one material fly. Really cool that way. Just spread it out a little bit. See how that rolls on there real nice? And then of course we'll take a little bit more of this about half as much as we used for the tail. We'll go ahead and cut off a little bit more. And then I just kind of chop it a little bit, make it like it's blended. And then I'll throw that on the thread too. So that'll be the last of the dubbing that I need. And get that wrapped on real nice and tight. All right, and then here we go. We're going to build up the body. Now on a leech, one of the big mistakes I see a lot of people making is they make the head portion thicker than the rest of the body. Like they make the whole leech taper down to the tail. That's not how leeches actually are though. If you see them in the water, you're going to see they go skinny at the very tip of their tail, and then they go kind of taper up, and about one-third of their, about one-third of the way up is the thickest part of their body. Then they start tapering back down to the head. So that's how I make these flies. I taper them back down to the head, and that's why they work so well, is because they really do imitate the naturals. Then we just tie this off. Easiest, quickest fly you're ever going to tie. And I'll tell you what, this is in the top three of my most productive patterns that I use from ice off to ice on. There you go, guys. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? <laughs> That's it right there. That sucker's going to catch me a 30-incher. Or better. <laughs> All right. So now you know. 
All right. Hope you had fun tying that fly. So till the next one, get happy outdoors. <laughs>